Hello, hello everyone. Um, good afternoon. Uh, let's wait for about five more minutes so that all apps may come in. Then we'll start. Thank you. Okay, um, I think we can start now as um, the meeting is being recorded anyway. So anybody that comes late or that misses it can um, have access to the recording. So good afternoon, everyone. Um, just to confirm, if you can hear me, put it in the chat box that you can hear me so I can start. All right then, thanks for the confirmation. So uh, I welcome you all to this um, orientation. And we'll be seeing the uh, flyer of the bootcamp uh, for the hybrid digital skill training. Um, we, are, we are going to be teaching about um, eight different uh, technology skills. And um, it's going to be starting in April, third Saturday in April. So this orientation is, um, is supposed to get us prepared to, to, to know the different um, information needed to be known before you start the training. And also for you to answer, uh, for you to get answers to your questions. So I'm going to be very brief. We're going to ensure this is um, not more than one hour. So in less than 30 minutes, I should be done with what I want to say and then the rest of the 30 minutes will be for question and answers, okay? All right then. So um, I, I'll, I'll, start by, um, I'll start by introducing the company, Octave, yeah? I'll start by introducing the, the uh, let's see if uh, I have, okay. All right. Uh, okay, uh, I'm sure we can all see my screen. So um, let's just understand uh, what we do at Octave Incorporations. So uh, basically, Octave um, Incorporations is a digital solutions company that's aimed at advancing digitization in Nigeria and Africa by, uh, at large by providing available, accessible, and affordable on-demand digital 
education and services. Our mission is to lead Nigeria into the world of pure digitization, making her become part of the top countries in digital technology and educating as many as possible by providing available, accessible and affordable on-demand digital education. Our vision is to be Nigeria's leading digital solutions company and become the world's most affordable platform to learn quality digital skills. And when I say affordable, it's not just about, when I, when I say quality, it's not just about um, the content of the, of the courses or the training. It's about what comes after. It's about the opportunities that follows it, the internship, the supervision and the lifetime mentorship that comes with it. So basically this is um, a little summarization of what we do at Octave Incorporations. So I'm going to go back to the slide for the um, orientation and continue. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's already there. All right. So um, basically, uh, the training is a well. What we are coming to learn are digital skills of several. Uh, so we have uh, data analytics and business intelligence. We have product management, we have Python, we have graphics design, we have data science and machine learning, we have UI, UX, that is user interface user experience, we have web development, and we have artificial intelligence and robotics. And we are going to be starting on the 16th of April next month. So some of these courses will be for six weeks, while the others would be for eight weeks. And that's why there's difference in the different payment for each of them. And uh, I don't know how many of you must have seen the curriculum that has uh, the different uh, topics under each skills to be taught, okay? So, and this was be part of the flyers must have been seen. So let's talk about, uh, oh, um, I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is uh, Michael Ojo. I'm the founder of Octave Corporations, okay? And um, uh, basically the head of the, um, data analytics part of this training. Okay, we have other instructors for the different uh, uh, skills and each of them are professionals and then they are using it to solve real life problems. They are working in a particular company or some of them even owns their own company. All right, um, let's talk about the structure of the training. So we said it's a hybrid training. Hybrid means both physical and online. Now some persons uh, or in some other ed techs, you do mostly purely online, you know, why right? some only physical. But when a survey was made, some persons may like online, but may not like physical. Some may like physical, but may not like online. And some may like both. So the solution is to merge the two of them together. So it doesn't matter where you are, whether you come physically or you are at home or at work, you can, you know, you can participate in this training. So it's not going to be like any other online, you know, training. We are going to have some set of learners physically and some set of learners online from their videos because the venue is at University of Lagos in Lagos City, here, okay? And um, most of us are in several other uh, states, if not countries. So the logistics will be so expensive and unrealistic to come down to take the training, right? So um, you can stay in your house, in your office or wherever you are and take the training. You are going to be um, participating full time. You are going to see your other, um, uh, your, your fellow mates that are learning the same course as you. Also, you can also ask your questions. You can see your instructor in fact, your instructor may even be online while you come physical. And then while he teaches, you can ask him questions. And you know, it's gonna be a very interactive training. Nobody's going to be left behind. 
everybody is going to be followed up correspondingly and ensure that they all are following the training. We're not just going to just um, leave you and, you know, just make you um, independent and not having any help. Throughout the training, you are going to be guided with supervisors and instructors, okay? So the online part is going to be on Zoom, like what we are doing now, and the Metaverse. Many of us have, uh, have, have not heard of the word Metaverse before, some may have heard. Uh, the metaverse is, is, is a digital world, it's a digital environment, just like how we are using Zoom now, but there is no interactivity in that you're only looking at me talking, right? You can only see my slide and you can just, you, 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 you're just there, nothing is happening. But, uh, but the metaverse, let me show you a picture in my, my pictures so you see what I'm talking about. Not like a game, a game, sort of a game. You know, but in this case, all the characters of the game are people you know, are your, are your um, team members, your group members, and your fellow learners, okay? So uh, this is a picture for, or how it looks like, basically. It's will load up now, and you can see that is me and somebody else. That's uh, me, that's my avatar. My avatar, that's the, the digital character that represents me. So I will control this character. I would, you know, move it around. I can communicate with my fellow teammates. As you can see, this is Prince Akatako. This is um, another you know, female individual here. So the fact, the fact that I am in my house, I can, there's this interactivity as if we are together. You can see the chairs around. You can even use the um, laptops. You can interact with the objects in this world, okay? So this is the metaverse and you all are going to be required to download the software. Many of us may not have uh, laptops for this training, but no worries. We have um, arrangements for that, and that's why we are using, but for those that will come physically, we have laptops available for everyone that may not have laptops so that we can encourage more persons to, to come and, and um, sign up for the training. Because that's one of the, one of the challenges we face when it comes to training, uh, digital skills. Many of our learners do not have laptops, right? So we will provide a venue that has laptops. There's also internet and a very cool environment for the training, okay? So we are going to be having this physical one weekends, Saturday, Sunday. So if you're doing data analytics or you're doing graphics or web design, you will have to come once. You'll be required to come once for the for the uh, physical class, and then there'll be online follow up during the week, maybe Wednesday and Friday. So basically, this is the time where you'll be interacting with your where you'll be interacting with your uh, uh, the instructors and your your supervisors. Okay, so we have instructors and we have supervisors. Instructors are those that will teach you the skills and give you projects. Then the supervisors are going to help you, or are going to guide you from the beginning of the training to the ending, ensuring that you are following, ensuring that you are starting up your project because you'll be giving your custom project at the beginning of the training and you'll start working on it till the end of the training. So that there won't be anything like, we have to start giving you extra time to do a project and then submit. No, everybody will submit at the same time. You, you also have to present your what, your final, Project. Okay, so um, let's go. So, like I said, the projects will be given at the start of the training. So you would have known what you are going to work on after you've gotten the required skill you came to uh, to learn. So projects are going to be used to solve real life problems. Okay, in business, finance, education, environment, and energy. Now, in other ethics you might be given some random data to make some analysis or you'll be given a graphics to no in active corporations we tend to give you exactly what you are going to face in real life using the skills so that when you are done with the training you will be available you know you or you'll be ready for for the jobs outside and that is the problem we're trying to solve at octave 
the way these skills are being taught out there are not are not it at all. People tend to just go in to just take the skills and still yet do not know what to do with it. Some they will promise you to get jobs, but there are no jobs. It's not because there are no jobs, but because you are not actually um, qualified for the job. You think you've learned the skill, but you don't know how to use it to solve problems yet. And that is the important thing. You need to learn the skills to solve problems. There is this, there is this um, statement of transition into tech, change career into tech. That is very wrong. Technology is not a field per se. It is an enabler of fields. Technology is applied to different fields. I'm a chemical engineering student at University of Lagos, 500 level, and I apply technology to chemical engineering. My final year project is on autonomous pilot scale refinery. So I am applying robotics. I'm applying digital, uh, uh, digital technology like, like machine learning and data analytics to chemical engineering so that we can make the solution much uh, efficient, faster, and autonomous in that it helps us reduce cost, increases ROI, and makes every other operation as fast as possible, easy for the workers, and also creates more jobs. Now, you can see that I am a chemical engineer, and I am also in the technology um, realm using robotics, machine learning, and data science. You see that I did not say uh, I am I am maybe in tech. No, 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 no. You can retain your career as a banker, as an accountant, as a teacher, as a salesperson, as anything you are doing right now, and learn tech. So when you now learn the skill, you are now going to apply it to what you are working on, except you want to just be the person that helps other people to apply it. Do you understand? For instance. I, as a machine learning engineer, can be employed by a chemical engineer, and then I'm going to apply my skills to help solve their problems. But in this case, I am a chemical engineer. I am also a machine learning engineer. So I can apply machine learning to my chemical engineering projects. Can you see the difference? So technology is a tool applied to anything at all. Anything at all. Doesn't matter the field. Maybe it's agriculture or medicine or business or finance. It is an enabler. It helps us to, 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 to be more innovative in our operations, helps us to make things faster, automate things and all. So when you hear things like transition into tech, it is misleading because it's, in fact, I asked someone yesterday why she was learning data science and she said because of the money. Now you can be misled that you should come and learn tech so that you can get high paying jobs. But I assure you that learning tech does not guarantee high paying job. What guarantees high paying job is your, is your ability to solve problems. So you are going to use the tech skills you have learned to solve problems. If you are unable to do that, you will not be employed. And that is another problem of Nigeria in terms of employment. We have been shouting, there is no job, no job, no job. I will assure you that there are a lot of jobs, like there are millions of jobs in Nigeria, but the problem is there are no qualified people for those job roles. So the problem is not unemployed graduates. The problem is unqualified, unemployed graduates. Because if you are qualified for a role and you go for the interview and then you show them that you can solve their problems, you are going to be employed. And so that is why our projects for this training would not just be any dummy or project that you're just going to neglect after the training. You are going to use this, your projects to solve real life problems that are being faced in business and finance and education and environment and also in energy. You're going to use use cases, real life use cases from different companies then we give you the data sets or we give you for web design, we give you a client's work. In Octave, we don't just teach digital skills. We also collect jobs from clients. We do digital transformation of, of companies. We help with analytic solutions. So when we get such um, projects, we give it to you to work on. And that's a real life project. And if you mess up, you are basically going to destroy someone's business. And that's on you. And that is where you have to understand how to use 
how to use these skills to solve problems. Very, very important, okay? So, like I said, you're going to be required to start up your capstone project, maybe from the second week of the training, and you're going to have supervisors that will aid you along the way. You are also going to be grouped. You will be grouped in the, each of these projects. In fact, grouping may not even be, yes, how it's going to be. For capstone projects, you have it grouped as your uh, as the people that, that are in the same category as you will do the same capstone projects or in different topics. But for this presentation, we are going to group different skill sets. We are going to get different skill sets. Those in web design will be mixed with those in machine learning, will be mixed with those in, in graphics, and will be mixed with those in products. And all five of you or six of you that have different skills are going to come up with a product idea. Applying each of the skills you have learned in this training, and you're going to present it to us at the final day. It is after the training and after you've submitted your custom project, you have this presentation, and the winner goes with a prize, probably 100,000, whatever. We're going to work on that. But I'm telling you, we have three winners, which is the, uh, the winner, first winner, second winner of the best products. What you'll be required to do is to apply what you have learned in this training to solve a problem. It could be building an app, it could be building a website, it could be you know, even a consulting firm. It could be anything, but it must be solving a problem in Nigeria. And that's why we have our mission to digitize Nigeria. So if you are digitizing Nigeria, it's not just by educating people, it's by educating them and letting them understand how to use it to solve the problems of Nigeria so that we don't, you know, people want to even learn these skills to go out of the country. And I have a problem with that. When you are an engineer, when you are in tech, you are tagged as a problem solver. So naturally you should be drawn to problems because you can solve problems. But then Nigeria is a country full of problems and then you are living. That shows you're not a problem solver because you are the, you are the solution to those problems. That is where you come in. In chemical engineering design, there are two types of constraints. We have the external constraints and we have the internal constraints. The external constraints are factors that we cannot control, factors that are above our power, factors that there's nothing we can do about it. These factors include government policies, laws and regulation, pandemics. Look at what happened in 2020. We, have, we had weddings set out, people had plans, but because the pandemic came, everybody had to stay at home. These are things that we cannot control. These are things that will shift the economy in a very unusual way. Now, we have the internal constraints, which are things and factors that we can control. These are the kind of skills we learn, how we apply them to solve problems, the time we use, um, the kind of problems we are solving, the method of approach we are using, our team members, our method of approach in terms of emotional intelligence, speaking to customers, you know, making sales, these are things you can control. Now, you should focus more on the internal constraints and develop those ones and watch out for how the external constraints can affect you so you can shift your decisions. And that's what you should be doing for the government in Nigeria. So don't blame the government for their irresponsibility or inability to provide jobs. Blame yourself for not being able to solve those problems. Because if you say there are no jobs, right? That means there's a problem of no jobs. Then you as a problem solver should come up with company and startup ideas that will provide jobs. In that case, you are trying to solve that problem with your own way by providing jobs for more persons. But no, you people, Nigerians will not do that. They would want to be complaining and want to go out of the country to find greener pastures. For Christ's sake, let me give you an instance. Your father house cannot be born in, and then you now leave to your neighbor's house and leave your father's house to burn to ashes. And then you now become a slave in your neighbor's house just because you cannot quench the fire of your father's house. 
this country is our own, for our father's generation, for the future generation. So if anybody is to solve the problems, it should be us. Nigeria is not the government. Nigeria is the people of, of, of the country. We are Nigeria. So if anything is wrong with Nigeria, it is our fault and not the government fault. The government may have a part to play in the problems, but we have a major part to play too in that problem. And it is left to us to solve those problems. And the way to solve these problems is by upskilling yourself with the required knowledge, with the required skill set, with the required skills that would enable you to solve problems. And this is part of that, which is this digital training you're about to take. So when you take this digital training, you are equipping yourself with the required skills that can be used to solve these problems that Nigeria is facing. And then in your own way, you solve. In every other people's way, they solve. Imagine you are solving the problems one by one, one by one, one by one, to come to them, no more problems. How did it happen? Collaborative efforts of skillful people. And that's what we're gonna do in this training. Let's look at, um, okay, this is your timetable. So basically, uh, the physical venue, like I said, is the University of Lagos, NITD, or um, before FSS, Faculty of Future Science. You'll be given the, the directions there. So by 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturdays, data analysis and data intelligence. And then, as you can see, 11.30 to 1.30, we have design, web development. And then 1.30 to 3, 3 o'clock, you have Python. And then um, that same day, um, some of us will use the other venue in Faculty of Science for digital marketing, product management, and graphic design. Then on Sundays, we're going to have the data science and machine learning guys and robotics guys have their own trainings, okay? So this is the physical time and the online time too. So this is the same time for physical and online. So those of you that are applied for data analytics should be online by 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Do you understand? While uh, those physical will come and they will take it together, together, hybrid, that was uh, hybrid, together. You can see those online, can see those physical, you guys can interact, you can laugh, you can ask questions, we can collaborate, okay? You can hear the question of, of, of the person physically, those physically can hear questions on those online. It's going to be very interactive. So it's not as if the only difference is that you're not there physically, but you have that feeling of being, you know, together. And during the week weekdays, maybe Wednesday and Friday, are for assignments and feedback. So after every classes, you are given quizzes, to test what you have learned. Mind you, we are not going to go to the Nigeria way of approach of education, where uh, if you are given assignment, don't copy yourself. Uh, no, 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 no. You see, that's another problem that we face in this country. That educational system where we um, are supposed to cover our notebooks and not collaborate during exams. And some set of persons are going to pass well and have first class across upper, why some are going to fail and may drop out or have lower grades. Now, imagine if we were allowed to collaborate, train ourselves better and do these things together, everybody will come out strong and well, right? So basically when you're giving quiz and assignment, and you're grouped and show that you're doing it together, you understand, different persons have different way of, you know, uh, thinking of, of, of assimilating knowledge, you, you may be smarter than some other persons, but you if you if you can if the person can 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 mix with you and you can train the person together, the person may have the chance of having to increase the time for his own assimilation. So collaboration is very key in this training. Nobody is going to be left behind. Look, my DM is open for everybody. So even if you are you are attached to a supervisor and it's not answering you, come to my DM, I will answer everybody. Okay, I will answer everybody in good time. But then there'll be some specified persons for that particular skills you're learning that are experienced that will guide you on your projects, all right? So now we would require some things from you guys. And, and the first thing is, what is your objective of taking this training? After this orientation, I wanted to go back home. I wanted to stay home and think, why do I want to take this training? Why do I want to learn this skill? What is my current job role? What am I currently working on? What problems do I want to solve? And how will this skill help me to achieve these goals? How will this skill help me to achieve my career goals? What exactly do I want to achieve at the end of this training? Do you understand? 
um, what exactly do I want to achieve after the end of this, this training? And if I have learned it, how can I see that I have successfully learned a skill and I am using it to solve problems? I am using it to make wealth for myself. You know, at the end of the day, it all boils down to making money through us. But then there's a difference between working for money and money working for you. Let me explain the difference. If you learn these skills and then the next thing that you look for job, blah, 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 for job, for job, you are basically working for money because when you, you work, they pay you a particular time and all. But imagine when you have the skill and then you have seen a problem or you're not a problem solver. And then you, you tell people that you can solve their problems. You understand? So they basically will chase after you because you have a particular skill that can solve their problems. Or you yourself can, even for those that are applying for data analytics, can become consultants. You can become analytics consultants. Independent analytics consultants, you can have your own firm and then you use your skills to help um, businesses understand their data and how they can make data-driven decisions to increase their, their profits, ma maximize their, their, their um, investments and also reduce their costs. Because that's basically what we do in, in business. You can also help them solve several problems. Those of you in education, you can use analytics to help solve projects. You know, there's some projects where you have to gather data on some things we are, we, are, we are interested in understanding the relationship between two different um, factors or phenomena you basically would use data analysis for that. And you as the person that has the skill can help them and then you get paid. So they will come to find you. Ah, oh God, I heard you can do this. Oh yeah, help me and do this thing. Oh God, I have not you saying, oh God, I can do this. Oh God, I can do that. It's, it's two different things, okay? And that's another thing this training will help you achieve. Having the required skills to create wealth where people will, will come after you, oh, sorry, come for, Ah, let me do this because come after or come for a thing, someone to come and kill you or something. Someone needs you, needs your service. Okay. Yeah. So the next thing is you're going to go to our website, www.octaveinc.org, and sign up as a student. This is the website. This is Octave Octave website. Okay. So you can just click on join for free. So if you click on join for free, You are going to be taken to this page for student registration, where you are going to be required to register and have an account with us for a start. Okay, when you have an account with us, then we come to other pages. We are working on this hybrid digital skill training, so don't go in there yet. We'll let you know where to go in there because this is where you are going to get your materials and you're going to submit your projects and capstones and your assignments. Okay. You will download the materials and also upload your projects. But for now, register with us. Okay. So uh, let's let's check. Yeah. So basically, we are, we are going to create a WhatsApp group and send to everybody. So everybody will be required to join join the WhatsApp group, and we can have a centralized um, platform for communication. So we can all be together and we can communicate ourselves and you know, do other things. So you join WhatsApp group. Also, you have to download the Metaverse uh, environment uh, by going to the website www.onyx.university. We're also going to send you a, a direct download link uh, through WhatsApp or uh, WhatsApp or email rather. Also, you can start paying for the training fee from today. It's starting next, um, month third week they have about about three weeks from now to pay up for the training like we said let me let me go to the document for the, for the training so this is the document for the training and you can see you can see uh the different topics that will be covered this could be even lesser Okay, this could be, uh, can you see my screen clearly? Uh, I don't know if you can see this clearly. All right, so basically you can, you can uh, see the different um, uh, topics to be covered for each of these and the cost is just below. 
So you see that we have virtual slash physical. So virtual is lesser than physical because physically there is no logistics in your house and they are taking the course. We can even see how we can get how we can get um, you data. For those of you that will come to join physically, we are going to be sending you guys weekly data stipend so you can join online more frequently. Maybe for those of them that are using MTN, because MTN is quite cheap. So if you don't have MTN, go and get MTN same now. So we will give, we'll use MTN for those, only for those uh, that will go for virtual. But for physical, you would, you would, you'll be having internet where you are coming. So they're going to use the data. We have uh, internet, we have about two to three Wi-Fi. The hub has the Wi-Fi, we have Wi-Fi, we have i5. And um, you can see that for uh, those of the courses that are six weeks, 15K for virtual, 20K for physical. Now, people may like say, okay, wow, well, maybe this is expensive. But mind you, um, lots of ed education technology and platforms charge more than this. You know, of other ones that charge 65, 100 and the likes. We are taking good, well, taking it as low as, as, as this. But then, aside from what you will learn, the other opportunities includes the internship as discussed. Active Aid Corporations have about, or has about four partners, uh, you know, international partners, one in US, UK, China, one in Dubai too. And that's why in the forms you will ask where you would like to intern, because we have an agreement with them that when we train students, we are going to submit their names for internship. So you'll be required to sign up with them and then you'll be regarded as an intern. They will give you their tax and then you work for them. So the one in the UK is skewed up life. So if you go on Google and search skewed up life, let's say skewed up life. <clears throat> If you search Skewed Up Life, Skewed Up Life is an organization in the UK that provides internships for tech, for tech pe uh, pe uh, persons. So basically you can, you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be put into any company, big companies, big tech companies in the UK. As you can see, we bring volunteers and tech startups together. Now, this particular platforms, brings you in as a volunteer for those startups. But of course, it is normal that if you are able to work for those startups, you are going to get some incentives. But that is not promised for this particular platform. They would basically connect you. So if you check their partners, okay, let's go to their partners. Our partners. So if you check our, their partners, right? So let's see, you can see the different um, companies that they are partnered with. And you can see that we are among OTV corporations. Okay, this means that all our learners will be given a top priority to intern in their companies. So they have several companies that they will apply, uh, that, that they will give students to. So OTV Corporation is part of uh, their partners. So as our learner, we are going to submit your names to them and then you'll be required to log in, okay? Or you'll be required to register with them. So when you register with them, finish up your registration and have your what? Have your, you can see, are you a tech company or are you a volunteer? So you can sign up for free. You can check how it works. Then you can be given gigs. You can be giving paid ones too, Seth. So this is just one. And then when you create this account, ensure that you use the username that can be used to trace you. Michael underscore Ojo, you know, underscore Octave. You know, or you can, you can see Michael 99 underscore 
Octave. When you are creating an account, put something like Octave in front of your username. So that when we submit your name, they'll be like, okay, this is the tag for Octave students. And they will get you jobs in the UK. Okay. Now we have the other person in the US called Onyx. So let's go there. Onyx dot university. For Onyx, Onyx own is in America, University of, sorry, uh, America. It's called Onyx University. And it's it's called University, but it's, it, it, is, it is basically um, a metaverse um, university. You can go there to learn how to, you know, apply your software development or your web design skills to solve problems there. You can even be a lecturer there to teach people how to do these things. You can see courses, you can see the campus, Let's check their partners too. Let's check their partners. So checking their partners, you can see, you can see their partners and part of their partners is Octave Corporations. You see, the reason why we are having these partnerships is because of you, our learners, okay? We want to not just teach you digital skills, but also give you the exposure, the experience required, the real life work experience required. So when we partner with these people internationally, they give us the resources, they give our students resources to come and learn how they, they can use it to apply or to solve problems in different parts of the world. You can see, in fact, this golden, as you can see here, is another of our partner. Let's go there. If I click on their on their icon, I would I would see Golden. Now Golden is one of our partners too. Global online learning development and SLA networks. Now they give you resources as a learner. You can come in as an intern and you can work with them. Let's check their partners too. Let's check supporters and partners. So if you check um, their partners, you can see Onyx that was our partner. And if you come down, you are going to see Octave Corporations. Can you see? This is another partner again that we have partnered with just so that we can give our learners the required work experience needed after they've taken the training. So they don't just come without a purpose or, you know, so that's it. And if you check our website too, and we, you go to our partners, our partners, okay? If you come there, you are going to see the three of them, but there are still about two more that we, are, we have yet to put it on, on, our, on our website. You can see Golden, you can see Onyx, and you can see Skudo Life. So we have made an agreement, we have signed our contracts that we are going to be having a mutual benefit. Well, because as you guys are going to sign up on their platforms, you are giving them more users to their, to their, to their platforms. You are also giving them, you know, much more um, meaning to what they are doing. You know, you are, because for this kid of life now, you are the service, you are the product that they give to startups. So startups will, will hire you as an intern, give you tax, you know, real life tax. That's why I said that you need to understand all these skills and how they are using real life. If not, you don't know what to do when you are given jobs. You don't know. And that's why Octave is here to teach you in the right way. All right. Okay, let's go to our slide. So you can start paying the training fee. But I would like to apologize that um, um, because of some, of some um, um, different problems, especially with the banks, you know, our, our business account is yet to be activated. And that is on the, on the bank actually. And this is one of the edicts we get as entrepreneurs. You know, things like, you know, business registration. In fact, we have our, our um, business registered already with CAC, you know, as Octave. Uh, okay, I think it's, a, uh, if a, okay. We are, I, I will share the, the picture on the WhatsApp group. So we are a registered business in Nigeria. Okay, so we are able to have the the um, the 
business account but nigerian banks can give you can give you a edic can give you different migraines of their different requirements do this do that go and bring this this name was italy go and bring this like i was just so frustrated so i want to beg your pardon that we'll be using an account that is not personal but will be used for business okay but the name you'll be seeing there is michael ojo which is my name but it is not a personal account it is used for business and i would also want to employ or employ you that when you are paying for the training put your put your description payment for hybrid skill training or payment for octave training so that we can you know because the the, the business account like this account is also used for other transactions so we want to be able to to um to differentiate for record purposes in octave we are very transparent we if if i say we're not here for the money you think i'm joking but actually we, we are not here for the money we are here for, for 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 solving problems and for teaching you but this money are going to be used to to help us get the required um, um tools to help you again do you understand so so we we, we are going to show a record of this training the amount of persons that paid, the amount of persons in different um, conditions, and all of you are going to get the financial report of this training. So you guys are going to know the amount we made. You are going to know all the. You guys are going to know everything the money was used for, even if they would say it's not your business. But in Octave, we are going to make it your business to know, to show you the amount that this training has made from you, and how you know. Is going to be because basically we have an agreement with the NITD of because to use that facility is expensive. We made an agreement to split it with equity, so they're going to be having about 30% of this revenue. So all of these financial transactions are going to be recorded. And we need the financial statement to show explicitly that this payment is for the training. So please, when you are paying, okay, ensure that um, you put the description. And and lastly, lastly, be prepared, be dedicated, and be disciplined with this training because it could change your life forever. Thank you very much. That's that is the end of this um, orientation. So I will be welcoming any um, any um, questions. So if you have any questions, signify by by raising up your hand, and then I will unmute you, and then you will talk. Thank you. Okay, Collins, uh, let me unmute you. All right, you can unmute. Okay, thank you very much for for this uh, short time of uh, bringing us into everything. Okay, um, I want to ask for someone who is uh, kind of working, let's say for those who wants to register, and then they already have something they are doing, like maybe Mondays to Friday, and you know they are working morning till evening. How can they balance, you know, meeting up with these classes and stuff? All right. So, um, here's the thing. In Octave, we do what they call personalized learning. Now, thank God that it is hybrid, so that every of our classes are going to be recorded. Now, it may not even be because of work. It could be because of power outage. Some people may not have lights for that particular week. Yes, they may miss the training. Some because of work. So balancing is, you know your schedule. This is the time that I need to be present. Some may be present, some may not be. But you will surely get the recording of every class that same day. And you are going to have a supervisor to summarize all what I've been taught that day so that before the next class, you must have known what you have done the previous day. So it depends on you now. You, some of you are coming to learn these skills so that you can be more relevant to your place of work, so you can be able to solve more problems, or so that you can be able to have your own company, which is what I even recommend, having your own company. So you, you would want to ensure that you have lower excuses for not coming for the trainings. No matter what it is said, that if something is really important to you, you are going to create time. 
imagine someone saying that uh, he cannot come because he has a party to attend, or has to visit the friends, you know, this is a... But when it comes to work or some other factors that we can't control, it's understandable. And hence, we have prepared for such um, occasions. And then you'll be given the recording and you'll be given a summary of everything and then you do your, your projects and your quiz and then we go on to the next class and all. So, so that's it. I hope I answered your, your question, Victor. Yeah, Victor, open answer the question. Yes, yes, yes. You answered my question. And then I have another question too. Okay. Okay, you said something about uh, grouping individuals based on, you know, you, you group them, uh, how did you call it? You, you, you group this person not with his uh, skill set of people, you get it. Maybe yeah. you group it analytics with uh, um, designers and machine learning and other stuff. So I want to ask, how can they like, you know, interact or learn or kind of develop each other okay. when they don't really okay. get, you know? Okay. Let, me, know let, me give you, let me give you an instance. So you have the custom projects where your, 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 your fellow learners in the, in the same skill we do on different topics. It could be on education, it could be on... Okay, okay, this is how we'll do it. We're going to give you the same capstone project for everybody, the same capstone for, 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 the same capstone for web design, the same capstone for graphics, the same... Now, what is going to be different is the different ideas where different sets will be skilled. Now, Victor, if you have an idea to build a website that helps students to, to get resources, for final year projects. So you're trying to solve the problem that students are not having enough resources to solve or to do their final year project, right? Now, you as a data analyst can gather data and understand the problem and understand what to do in terms of data analysis. Who will help you to build the website? Who will help you with publicity? Who will help you to, to, to you know, like you see that in, a, in, a, in, a, in an idea, there are several skill sets needed. So we're able to, to, to design the flyer, that is the graphics. So we're able to build the website, that is website design. So we're able to do the machine learning algorithms, that is the machine learning engineer. So we help you to analyze the demographics of the students and where to, you know, on, on how to effectively um, de deploy the solution, that is, that is data an analyst. Some are the product managers that we help us to check and also survey, do surveys and, and, and get back to us on how we can effectively put the product into the market. Do you understand what I'm saying? So each of you have different skill sets into that one idea, and that's what you'll be grouped for, and you're going to present at the end of this training. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I, I get you. I get you. I get you very much. Uh, there is also, maybe, maybe after this training, I will talk to you personally. All right, okay. thank you very much. Thank you very much, Victor. Thank you. All right, um, um, Lydia, let me unmute you. I don't know if you're unmuted. Lydia. So, uh, Lydia, you can ask your question now. You can ask your question. Don't worry. He has already asked the question I wanted and you've answered it. Thank you very much. Oh, lovely, lovely. Is there anybody that, that still has one or two questions that, that I want to... So that we can ensure that, uh, okay, Joseph, Joseph, you can talk. Joseph, you can talk. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, um, I have a question because I'm interested in doing the data science and machine learning, but I want to know like the kind of approach that you are going to take in, because right now I'm actually undergoing like several courses in relating to data science and machine learning, especially machine learning. So I wanted to know like the kind of approach they want to take in teaching it. Is it like, are we going to go really deep into machine learning or is it just be like on the surface level where you just be able to get like the general knowledge before we can now branch out to what you want to use the machine learning models for? Or are they going to like go in depth into the teaching it? That's what I want to understand. Yes, um, they will go in depth. In fact, very in depth. But I want to I want to tell you something. 
Now, I am also a machine engineer and um, basically lots of persons are learning data science and machine learning in the wrongest of ways. Very wrong, very, very wrong. You see, you would see, you would see uh, controversies like what tool is, is better, Aru or Python or Power BI or Tableau. Those are very irrelevant and unnecessary arguments because the issue is not about the tool. The issue is about understanding. So you are supposed to understand how we use data science and machine learning to solve problems. But then you need an in-depth knowledge on how to go about it. Machine learning, you have to know the definition, the history of machine learning, types of machine learning. We have the supervised, semi-supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement learning. How are all of these going to be used to solve problems? How can you code each of these algorithms? Now, me, I don't even support coding because there's no, there is no machine learning uh, project that you want to do that has not been done before. And that be the new one. But if your own case study is one that I've done before, understand it, know how to code it. But then when it comes to using it in real life, just get one that has been done already and, and modify it to your test, okay? So that you, it, it will help you to, to save time. But the understanding matters, the types of data, the, the, and it all boils down to objective, what you are trying to do. In machine learning, we use it for fraud detection in banks, in different financial sectors. We use it for credit card scoring. We use it for anomaly detection, for segmentation. We use it for classification problems like um, customer churning. You know, all of these problems are the problems that, that are used in real life. Imagine you have to have a FinTech company now. You need a machine learning engineer that will help you to build a credit scoring algorithm or a fraud detection um, uh, system that would ensure that your systems are working safely and smarter so that you do not have to, do you understand? So yes, to answer your question, we're going to go in deeply. And aside from going deeply, I'm going to teach you how to eff effectively use it to solve problems of your, of, your, of your choice. That's the one you are interested in. Yeah, did I answer your question? Hello, um, Joseph, did I answer your question? Or who will ask question now? Okay, let's let's uh, let's hear from uh, Muhammad Ibrahim. Muhammad, you can ask your question, Muhammad. Okay, hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. So um, I want to register for the web development track, but I want okay. to know like the yes the programming language that will be taken. Okay. And how okay. yes how. Okay. Do you have any programming language in mind? Yeah, I use I use um, JavaScript and React. Okay. Now for web design and development, we have several. Oh, let me even show you. Let me show you your your. Uh, some of them are here, and they will, they will introduce themselves. Let me show you your instructors, the caliber of persons that are coming to teach. Some of them are even founders. Some are CEO. Let me just show you, so you know. Look at them. Okay, that is me as the founder of other corporations. This is a full stack developer. This my computer may be using React, Node.js, or can be using JavaScript. This is Sodic, a tax and finance analyst at Octave Corporations. This is um, Luther, he's our head of data science in, in Octave. This is a UI, UI designer. This is a technical writer at Bob Africa. This is a full stack web developer that may be using another thing like um, you know, React or, or um, native React or whatever. This is um, um, Oswini Bonaventure. He is, uh, is a master student at the um, Solent University. I think this is in the um, UK, studying applied AI and data science. This is a back end engineer in Celtic Media. And this is our creative lead in Octave Corporations, Emmanuel Oloye. This is, uh, uh, so, this is a, a Python developer and, 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 and a machine learning engineer. This is also a full stack web. This is uh, a founder of a company it's called Student Party. Right, he's a founder and he's going to be taking the product management um, track. This is Eniola um, Olale. In fact, is is well known for for being top of um, ML competitions on on um, um, the Zendi, I mean, uh, Zundi and or um, Kago. And he's also a data scientist and a machine learning engineer. This is also so you can see the people you you that is coming to teach. This is our UI US lead in. Other corporations, um, Toba, this is Fortune Adekobe, who is a machine learning engineer at Just Play. And we also have, um, we also have, oh, sorry. 
We also have um, the Python developer and this and this. Now, each of these instructors may have their own different tools that they, are, they, that they use. So now we are now going to tell you the different tools that can be used, the limitations and, and all. Then you cannot decide the tool you want. Then again, the tool is not important. What is important is what you are trying to achieve, what you're trying to solve. If you want to you know, design a website, you've heard of WordPress where you have recorded templates, right? But some persons may not want that. They may want their own custom design. Hence, you have to go and code. When you code, you can code in different languages. You understand? So to answer your question, we are diverse. That means we use several tools that of your choice, basically, because each of these our instructors have knowledge on several tools that can be used. You can even be led, we can even teach you all the tools if, so that you can know the one to use at the end of the day. Do you understand? Diversity matters a lot when it comes to technology. That's why I don't like complaints that say you must learn how to use Aru or learn how to use Power BI or Python. There's no, there's not for the point. The point is, can they use this tool to solve your problems? Okay, oh, okay, sorry, let me, let me, let me um, uh, unmute you. Uh, where are you, sir? Uh, Mohammed. Uh, okay, you can talk. You can talk. Uh, okay, I, I understand. So there's no, like, there's going to be, there's no particular track that is going to be followed. So any track can be followed. Yes, basically. Okay. Any track of your choice, of your choice. Okay, it has to be of my choice. Okay. And, you know, sometimes you may need to be guided. So to tell you what everything and things and which one you would like to be interested in. Okay, okay. No problem. I understand. You're welcome. Okay, someone asked that what is the cost implication and how we do outside physical setting learning remotely. Uh, I think I've explained that um, we are going to have it hybrid and there is, uh, what do you mean? Okay, this is Rogers. Can you, let me unmute Rogers. Rogers, if you can hear me, ask your question. Let me hear you. You can unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay, thank you. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, just as I asked, well, the reason why I asked is for those of us that are not based in Lagos, we are in remote areas of the north. Okay. So uh, that's why my question was specific for those that couldn't, uh, that wouldn't be able to attend the physical sessions and uh, likely want to learn remotely and the cost implication for data science and machine learning. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. You see, it is, it is, uh, it is, it is more affordable if you want to come online. Okay, that is for data science for for those online is twenty thousand naira. But if you are coming physically, it's twenty five thousand naira. Do you know why? Because we are paying for we are we 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 actually rented this facility. We are also paying for the lights, the internet, and the usage of the computers. They also have projectors. They have sound system. They have boards. They have basically everything we need for the student. And and the physical part of the drilling is more expensive with uh, 5,000 euro difference. So you you as a remote learner, in fact, your own is even, the reason why we have it this way because some persons don't even like to you to, to learn online. But guess what, guess what? Let me show you guys something. Let me show you guys something as quickly as possible. I myself thought that several persons may want to come and this is the, this is the um, um, importance of analytics to to guide your guide your solution. So if I come to uh, where is it hybrid digital no is it digital bootcamp or hybrid training? I want to show you guys. No, this is it. So I will show you the analytics of those that chose physical and those that chose uh, to, to come online. So we have about 333 responses here. And we can see someone is from Kenya, someone from another kingdom, and we can see the different states, Lagos being the highest. Now, Lagos has about 123 registered persons that are interested in this course. And if you look at it, what skills are you interested in? You can see the different skills that everybody has chosen and some other ones that decided to write some other things. And then what mode of learning do you prefer? You can see that online took more of, of the part because of 
we have some persons not in Lagos, and then, you know, so because in fact, at the beginning of these forms, people that are in Lagos were way more, and I still had online um, persons coming in more on this chat. But you can see both said 100, and another said 123, and this is 210. So both means they will come physically or online, whatever it means. Why only 23%? Only 23% out of 333 said they want to come in physically. Now, this is this has carried our our decision by saying, okay, well, we don't have so many persons coming physically, so we don't have to let's say we are, maybe we have to prepare lunch for those that are coming or something. We know the amount of persons that are coming and the time, you know, and also uh, you know, it helps us to plan. This is the power of analytics. For, for, for planning such events, you know, as you can see. So we have everything we, we need. We can group you guys as easy as possible. And some, look, I don't know why all of you are running away from China. I don't know what's the problem. There's no more coronavirus now because China only have 11 persons out of 300. Uh, 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 uh. People even chose Nigeria. I'm even surprised people chose Nigeria because I'm like, people want to even run away. So I'm, I'm wondering. But then you can see the different, um, so what we'll do is we'll just extract those that chose Nigeria and put them in several groups and then um, put them into those internships. And then, uh, look at this, uh, as you can see, people even chose to pay 45,000 and above for this particular training, which is not actually the price of this fee. I just wanted to understand how, how far some persons are, are, are willing to, to, to go to, to, to learn a digital skill. And about 29 persons said they are, they are willing to pay 45,000 and above to take this training. About 15 said they can pay 35 to 45. Me, I was even thinking that this 45,000 will not even be there, it will be empty. But to my surprise, I have 29 persons that are willing to, 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 to put that. And then of course, of course, of course, everybody is going to the lower lower part, which is expected. Do you understand? So this is, this is the power of analytics. And, and it's, it's used to guide decisions. And so, um, uh, both physical or online, you all are going to get the same thing. The only difference is your environment. Some of you are going to take from your house, some will come physically, and then everybody gets exactly the same quality and content. Okay. Now, someone said that she would love a physical class as she wants in depth knowledge. Now, a physical class does not guarantee in depth knowledge. What you will see here physically is what you are still going to hear in your house. So there is actually no, no, you know, if you want to, okay, how do you get, okay, you know what, how do you, do you get um, in-depth knowledge? She be by asking your lecturers that, uh, okay, you said this and that too. And the lecturer can hear you at that time and will answer your questions. It doesn't matter if you are online or physical. Your answer, your, your questions are going to be answered because they're going to hear the, the, the lecturer and then the lecturer, will get your questions from both physical people and online people and you get your answer. So it's not about, you know, some people just want to, some, 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 if, if you tell me that you like physical because you like to learn around people, see people doing the same thing as you, and hey, that's a good reason. But when it comes to, because of the quality of the training, no, it's not really, um, so someone said, I came a little bit late, but how many days will the class last for? Hey, it's for, it's for six to eight weeks and it's a thorough learning. Okay, okay, Chinaza, Chinaza, it's not an app, it's not an, an app um, class. It's a, it is a real time class. So if you are coming in for data analytics on Saturdays, this is from nine to 11. So you should be online by nine to 11 and, and see us together as we take the course. But if you by any chance miss the class, because if you sign up for, for a physical course and you miss the class, that's, that's all, right? But that's not all because we have recorded the classes. So whether you miss online or you miss physical, you are going to get, get the required quality of the, the, the content. And for, for Belu, Abiba, uh, you want to learn data science and what are the courses to be learned under data science? Let me show you. For data science, these are just few of what you will learn, that there are more. You see, I just put in each of these topics, there are, there are more subtopics under them. Okay, but what is most important, if you look at all of them, business case study, business case study, business case study, key industry tools, career in design, 
career in web development. You see that we are more interested in ensuring that you know how to apply this to your career. Do you do you understand? Um, who is this? Okay, Bello. I don't know if you'd like to talk. Let me unmute you so I can hear. I can hear you. Okay. So let me just. Um, oh yeah, Bello, you can talk. You can unmute yourself and talk. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Good afternoon. Um. Yes, I would like to ask, like, what are the time for the physical classes? You said six to eight weeks, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, let me show you the um, timetable. This is the timetable. I'm this sorry, is... I had to, like, I can't. Uh, no, it's me. fine. It's That's fine. Why. Fine. You'll be given this, this is the timetable. You'll be given the, the timetable uh, before the, okay. the class, okay? So, um, okay. okay my... How would I register? Mind. Like, if I'm willing to pay now, I saw something like WhatsApp stuff on the platform, but I don't know uh, how to do about it. Okay, let me drop my WhatsApp contact on this call. And since all of you have registered, right, you'll be getting emails on how to pay. But please, you can, I'll drop a link okay. to my WhatsApp DM. So you all can message me okay. and ask for that questions, and you can, you can also pay I will give you the payment details, okay? My name is Michael Ojo okay. again. And I'm trying to show you, hold on, I'm trying to show you the um, timetable. Okay. Uh, see, this, this is timetable. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The name of the company is um, Octave Corporations. Let me put it in the chat box. You can check out our, our, our Octave Corporation. You can check out us on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram. www.octaveinc.org. That's our website. So, um, Victor, he said, don't you think the quality of the training may be affected by the communication and transmission model and in drugs to well, I, I understand what you're trying to say. So um, the certain, the certain, okay. Okay, Victor, Victor, you can ask your question. Let me, let me omit you so you can ask the question. This is where we are going to stop because we shouldn't have gone over um, one hour. So Victor, I will just allow you to ask the last question and then we can call it a day. Victor, or me yourself. Okay, uh, so I was asking because uh, you know sometimes network uh, communication and other stuff. So don't you yeah, think yeah. Uh, those hindrances can actually affect the knowledge impartation, especially especially to those online? Okay, so basically there are some factors that we cannot control, like good network, right? We cannot. Yes, we cannot. Yes. Um, we cannot control good network. So the knowledge, the knowledge is not dependent on the network, if you understand. So even if you are not able to join or hear clearly build the network, like I said, the recording are going to be available. So you can oh, download okay. it and watch at, at your own time. It's you true. understand? Yes. And yes, so, yes. somebody asked that is this the first in fact we've have we've had several trainers. Several. Let me show you our website so you can see our um, you can see our testimonials. So I am talking to Taiwo now. So Taiwo, this is not the first quote, but this is the first type that is for hybrid. We've been having it online or physical. We've, we we used to do private too. So look at the the testimonials of those that uh, that, that that took our courses as a last year. This is from 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 last year, and since then we've been taking more courses and we've been having more um more testimonials. You can you can see them on this is um for for data analysis, this is for product management, this is for data analysis, this is for web, and as you can see, you can see the several um um testimonial of few of our let me even show you our gallery itself. Let me show you our gallery so you can see our our um certificates that were that, that 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 was issued to all our learners okay so that is it's not we are, we are we are a startup but we've not we didn't just start we are experienced and we've made our research and we know how to to give you 
top notch. Um, okay, we are working on the website, and it seems that um, it seems that the 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 gallery has been uh, the wiped as it is being redesigned. But my point is, we have um, we have um, you know undergone such trainings and lots of different um, testimonials. If you check our, our, our LinkedIn, you will see our uh, stuff there. Another thing that we do is virtual internship. So uh, it, it is free. So it is it is just um, like a virtual internship where you can apply your skills to solve um, problems, right? It's a virtual internship. So we only have about four of them here, but we'll add more. So it will give you real, real life case studies just for practice. It's not a life internship, it's just a virtual internship that you just submit the tax giving and then you get your certificate. Okay. And uh, if you check our sideways page, we also um, we also offer internships to undergraduates. So uh, do I remember this uh, password at all? Uh, yeah, I think I've, I've forgotten the password. But this is another domain entirely for Octave where we we'll, we'll do service. No service now, if you're an engineering student or you are in sciences, you can do your service. If you know any student that is, that is in, in doing their service, we, we, would, um, we would gladly welcome the person. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's about, about it. So let me just show you our team members. Let me show you our team, team members, lots of the core team members. We are over 50 of us right now. And you can see our partners, you can see our team. That's me, Michael Ojuda, the co-founder of Abdullahi. That's the creative lead. That's um, engineer Emmanuel as our management consultant. That is um, uh, Toba as the design lead, and Todik, and then our HR manager. Also, we had our we had our, um, our anniversary last month. Okay, let me just show you the anniversary brochure. So you can see how far we have gone. I will even show you something, sir. Let me show you something. We have um, we are working on several products. We have a digital university where you can that, that will be up soon. We will start. Um, it's different from this one, of okay? because it will be giving you advanced diploma and they're going to become entrepreneurs upon graduation. So you can see this is the um, brochure. Let me reduce the, the zoom. So you guys can see clearly. And the, the videos of this are on YouTube. You can check YouTube, search Octave Incorporated on YouTube, Octave Inc. And then you'll see. This was our our launching on April 15th. We we uh, we used uh, we used Navado Kiat in BI for, for this. And the pictures are also on our LinkedIn and on our social media. You can see our chairman, you can see uh, the different special guests that was invited. And uh, you can see myself here, and you can see my co-founder, and you can see Octave Corporations. And okay, I will share this document to all of us too. This is our digital university, the Metaverse. So we're gonna teach you these skills, and then we'll teach you entrepreneurship skills, and then you'll be required to have your own business. That's like the, it's the most. That, that, that is our, our core value. We, we provide job, job board creators, who we'll, we'll provide those that, okay, job providers instead of job seekers you get it's, it's not like it's not like any any of the university as you can see the virtual environment so you have your own avatar and you join us here and we have our classes we also have our crypto uh we have a digital coin as as you can see it's being developed so you guys are paying in nera now but when this thing is completely developed you'll be paying in octa coin all our services are going to be paid and delivered in octa coin and we are supposed to be to be giving you different um incentives we we'll use octa coin for that and then you can see you can see uh these are our team members full team members you know you can see all of them and this we had an internship last year and look at the amount of persons that came in they all were certified they all had their their certificates you can see how they are plenty and these are our partners and sponsors okay so this is just i will send this uh, slide to all of us and all oh, um, I will give you as the last person to talk and then we can close. Okay. I will give you can you can speak. I will give you, okay. 
Yes, hello. Um, good afternoon. I'm sorry, I came late. I came late. I don't know if um we'll be added to any WhatsApp group. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll be we'll be added to a WhatsApp group. So just message me. Let me put my 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 my, my WhatsApp link again. But we'll send it through your, okay. your email. Okay, okay. No okay, so that's me. My thank you. So uh, you were asking, uh, what's her name? Uh, ben, you said, how will the internship go? The internship is going to be remotely, maybe for three to six months, depending on your choice, actually, okay? And like we said, it's going to be maybe in Nigeria, maybe with us or our partners in Nigeria or our partners in the UK, okay? And how will it, oh, sorry, hold it. Sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. So the oh, the the internship, right? The internship is an avenue for you to to you know, get your hand dirty on all of these skills, and um, after your six to eight weeks training. You be you be your name to be submitted the following week, and say by the next month of that week, maybe from July, you can start the internship through to October, and they'll give you a certificate of, of completion there, and you can add it to your CV that you worked in a company in UK, in US, or in China or in Nigeria to show that you have been able to apply the skills to solve real life problems, and you can now work. Uh, you know, well, well, in Octave, I'm going to give you a letter of recommendation too, if needed, so that I can help um, job finding um, easier and, uh, and faster. Okay, so um, I think we can, okay, we can come to an end of uh, this orientation. So the, the recording is going to be available on YouTube as soon as possible and to be shared to all of us via WhatsApp and via email. Okay. So um, thank you very much for attending the orientation. I hope we have been able to make you understand how the training will go and also able to answer your questions very um, effectively. And of course, to um, allow the lecturers or the instructors introduce themselves. So I will have a meeting with them this next week and they're going to make about 30 to one minute video introducing themselves and what they can do. So I'm going to put that out there for you guys to see and meet your instructors because these guys are professionals. I trust me that they own their companies, they work in you know, tech companies, tech startups, and they are coming to teach you what they are doing there in real life. You know one thing about Octave is that we practice what we preach. Okay, we practice what we preach. If if we are teaching data analytics, we are also applying data analytics in our company and our organization. Hence, we are seeing the usefulness. That's the way I showed you the analytics. On, on the forms, do you understand? So you would know, you know, um, how to use this, uh, this, this skills, do you understand? Okay, so, so thank you very much. And please, you can start paying up from today through to that time. And, um, uh, and yeah, anyway, any other information will be passed across. So we can, we can all go now. Thank you very much and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day.